Hi, James at CG Cars here with another walk around video of one of our sales vehicles and today we've got this fantastic 2012 Nissan X-Trail 2 litre Tecna automatic fantastic looking vehicle in really great condition with a full main dealer Nissan service history not often you get that when they get to this kind of age real as I said really fantastic looking car in a cracking spec beautiful drive so what we'll do is go around the car panel by panel for those considering a distance purchase so you know exactly what would be arriving and then we will go to the interior go through those features and perhaps even have a little test drive so starting on the front corner the the passenger headlight is in cracking condition no yellowing no condensation or uh, water build up in it at all the lower fog light again nice and clear no water or condensation at the chrome all in good condition the bumper along the front here nice all the chrome around the grille is in cracking condition as we move to the corner of the bumper we've got some minor marks just here very minor don't really catch the eye that much could easily be touched in with a touch in pen going into the front wing the condition there is really good there's no obvious dings or dents or deep scratches the body kit all around here is in good condition no scraping of the plastics alloy again fantastic nick the nine tiniest little marks just there but overall all the painting condition no lacquer we've got quite a bit of tread on the front tire there are lots of tread there so no tire needed anytime soon there the wing mirror cap again in good condition some minor couple of little minor marks there again nothing major at all this metallic sort of bronzy gold really does look fantastic in real life the uh, passenger door great condition door handle chrome all as it should be no damage there we've got the side steps on this vehicle they're in nice condition maybe a tiny little mark just there on the edge i am going to be particularly picky like i say for those of you that might be considering a distance purchase we've got the wind deflectors across the top here they're all in good condition Looking across this pillar, we've got a minor little ding just there in that pillar, but the rest of it along here, all in cracking nick. The rear passenger door, we've got the tinted gl glass, which is a uh, factory fit. Door handle again, good condition, all the chromes in good nick. The door itself, if you look down the side, you can't see any dings or dents in the doors there at all if there are they're so minor they can't really be seen again all the paint in good condition there plastic trims along the bottom there in good condition plastic wheel arch here again good condition so if it does get repetitive but there's only so many ways you can describe paint work the rear quarter panel here excellent condition no dings or dents or scratches there the rear alloy again excellent nick there's no curbing at all on that one again all the paint good no lack appeal anything like that and loads of tread on the tire again Going to the rear of the vehicle, the rear light cluster, again, no condensation build-up, no yellowing on that. The corner of the bumper, no marks at all. All the paint is excellent there. Plastics, again, no scrapes or scratches on the plastics. The reflector's in good condition. Going across the rear of the panel, again, all free of dings and dents there. All the paint is good. The chrome, again, in excellent condition along here. No peeling of the chrome or anything like that. We do have a reversing camera at the back here, just there which is functioning as it should then across the back again no real scrapes or scratches to mark at all here both lower lights there in good condition no cracking or condensation in those rear tinted glass all in good condition here faintest faintest little lines there where perhaps an old wiper blade's gone round the top light here does have a little crack in that top light there I imagine that would be easily replaceable if you really did want to do that and uh, the rear light cluster again good condition no condensation build up at all in that no yellowing all excellent condition corner of the bumper here fantastic again we've got the smallest little mark so again i'm being very particularly picky very very small grays on the edge of the plastic there but overall excellent so driver's side, the rear quarter again, no dings or dents or deep scratches to note there at all. That's all in excellent condition. The plastics again, no scraping or scratching on the plastics. The rear alloy is perfect. 
no curbing, no lack appeal. Again, loads of tread on the tyre. So we haven't got any tyre due anytime soon. We've got a tinted glass again. The wind deflectors on this side again, all in good condition. No cracking or damage to those. Chrome door handle, no peeling or damage to that. The door itself doesn't appear to have any dings or dents or deep scratches in that at all. No, nope, nothing there that's obvious to the eye. Again, the plastic trim down the bottom here in good condition. The side step, excellent condition. Driver's door, again, the chrome is in really good condition. We've got the tiniest of little dings there. Again, if I'm being picky, just the tiniest little dings there. But again, the door itself doesn't seem to have any major dings or dents or scratches. There's no real chipping to the edge. Tiny, tiny little bit there, maybe. The driver's wing mirror cap is in excellent order. There's no damage to note on that at all. Front wing, again, excellent condition. No deep scratches or marks at all to note. Doesn't seem to be any dents there either. And the alloy here, excellent condition. Again, no lack of peel, no curbing, and loads of tread. So no tires needed on the vehicle. The plastic trim, again, hasn't been scraped or scratched there. Driver's headlight. Again, we haven't got any build-up of water or condensation in there. Nice and clear, no yellowing at all. The lower fog light, again, no build-up of condensation or water in that. The chrome around that in good condition. Going along the front edge of the bonnet, it does seem to be free of stone chips. I can't really see any stone chips there at all. Really good condition. One minor little stone chip there, perhaps. But overall, excellent condition. So like I say, I've been a bit picky there for those that, like I say, were distance purchase. But as you look around the vehicle in a normal manner, you can see it is excellently presented. It really does look in fantastic condition. I said a really good looking vehicle. Across the top here, we've got the glass roof, which is all good. No cracking or damage to that at all. The rubbers seem to be good on that. And the roof itself, there's no dings or dents or large scrapes on that. So just pointing out a few features on the outside of the vehicle that obviously aren't standard on the extra. We've got the alloys, we've got the side steps, we've got the metallic paint, we've got the chrome finish lower fog lights. We also have cameras not only at the rear, but underneath the mirrors here. So you get side camera views as well as rear camera views. You also have a camera at the front there. So you've actually got all round cameras on this vehicle, very easy vehicle to park because you've got camera side, front and back. Like I say, the other camera is underneath the wing mirror there. So you also have the keyless entry. So on each door handle, you have these little buttons, which will give you the keyless entry when the vehicle's locked. You can hear it locking and unlocking via that little button. So as long as you've got the keys in your pocket, you can just hit that to unlock. So yeah. Obviously the tinted glass as well, that's a factory option and the wind deflectors. So whoever spec this car out from you went with all the bells and whistles. So moving to the inside of the car, we'll have a look at the condition and look at the features here. First of all, we've got the Bose sound system, the upgraded Bose sound system on this. We have electric mirrors with fold and all around electric windows. You've got your window locking and your door locking there as well. The seats are leather throughout, in really good condition. No major wear to note on them at all. No burn holes or tears or damaged stitching. You've got a little bit of wear to the bolts on this side. Tiniest little bit here. In fact, we've got some black balm we can put on there, which will probably take that away completely. But yeah, no real wear. We've got the leather trimmed gear lever. No real wear on that. And on the automatic gear knob, the leather's in good condition there too. We have proper X-Trail carpets, excuse me, a little bit of dirt on them because I moved the car outside and it is a bit muddy outside at the moment. The carpets are in good condition underneath, there's no wear through on those. Show you on the passenger side too. Carpets all in good condition, like I say, with the proper fitted mats. Leather trim steering wheel, again, all the leather in good condition, no real wear to that at all. All the white on all of the buttons is all good. None of that has worn through at all, as it hasn't on the... Uh, door buttons there as well so you've got your traction control off button down there you've got your cruise control here your Bluetooth and your stereo controls there you have sat nav on this with the cameras we'll turn it on in a minute show you a little bit uh, shortly air conditioning with uh, the screen demister and so forth controls all down here you've got heated seats both passenger and driver and then you have your hill descent button 
and your window lock button and then you've got your choice you leave the car we leave it in two-wheel drive as a general rule but obviously if you're going auto you can lock it into a four-wheel drive but you can leave it on automatic as well and it'll decide for itself what mode to be in up here you've got the button to decide whether to turn the cameras on or off why you'd want them off i'm not quite sure <laughs> As we have a look around here, all the plastics are in good condition. There's no scraping or marking to note on the glove box where people have got in and out or anything like that. Got your little cubby holes up here. I say all the plastics, all in good condition. As I said, the vehicle is keyless. I just have to have the key in my pocket. You can see the exact mileage is 68,433. If we turn it on, it immediately does it checks. Oil level is okay. Like I said, we'll have a look through the service history in a little while long, in a little while. If we start the car up, starts smoothly, no hesitations at all, idles nicely. There's no warning lights on there other than the fact I haven't got my seat belt on and uh, the handbrake is on. So looking at the screen here, all the LCD is good on the screen, no problems with that at all. We hit accept, we can see we've got the map there for the satellite navigation. If I put the vehicle into reverse, I might need to have it on actually. Put the vehicle into reverse, you can see the camera there is showing me all around the vehicle on that side and showing me the reversing camera there. Again, all that's working exactly as it should do. You've got your Bluetooth for your phone, CD and auxiliary input, so you can plug a phone directly into the sound system and play that through the sound system as well via auxiliary input. And the glove box, we've got the handbook there, we've got the locking wheel nut there, and then we've got this service book here, all important service book. So if we have a look through this service history, very unusual as I said for this to be full Nissan. So we've got services 2013, 14, 15, 16, uh, another in 16 there, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and it's had a service on the 7th, 2022, most recently, so not due a service for a good while longer as well. All with Nissan. Now this is a chain-driven two-litre engine, so there is no requirement for cam belts to be changed, which means lower servicing costs, and the Nissan ones tend to be pretty tough. We also have the panoramic roof. It actually tilts up. Normally the panoramic roofs don't have any movement in at all, but this one does actually tilt up and completely slide back. Normally recommend you've got the engine on for this because it's a bit of a battery drain otherwise. And then you have a manual blind if you wish to uh, close that off completely. So moving to the back of the vehicle, you can see even with me in the seating position, six foot three, plenty of legroom still in the back of the car. Again, all the leather, again here in excellent order, no marks or wear to note at all in here. All in lovely nick. All the carpets again fitted with Nissan carpets. No wear underneath them, it's all in good condition. All the plastics on the door again, very good condition. No wear, the chrome on the door handle is staying on there nicely. Maybe a small amount, a very small couple of marks there on the uh, passenger side door. Again, all the chrome good. Very comfortable, lovely seats in this. So if we move to the rear of the vehicle, you can see, again, all in excellent order here. All in cracking condition. We've got the uh, little cubby hole system here on this false base. I think the only thing we might be missing is, is uh, a cover, a pull-out cover for the back there that didn't come with the vehicle. But with the tinted glass, can't see in the boot anyway. Said overall the interior is also in excellent condition, like the outside of the vehicle, really nicely specced out. Very well looked after. Both driver and passenger seat have electric adjustment for forwards and backwards and the rake on the back, we'll just show you that on the other side as well. It's just warning me, I've got the keys still on me there. So the driver's seat as well, working as it should. If you tilt it there, it'll also raise the seat to a higher driving position. 
So for those of you that are interested, let's have a little look in the engine bay. So here we have a two litre chain driven diesel engine. Chain means there's no rubber belt running the engine, which needs changing every four or five years. It is a chain which is life of the engine. And on the Nissans, they tend to be very tough, which means your services are just oil filters, air filters and oil. So they're relatively inexpensive compared to other vehicles. Obviously being Nissan, they do have a reputation of being pretty bulletproof little bits of kit. So out for driving the Nissan, like I say, no warning lights at all on the dashboard. You can hear it smoothly changing gear there. We'll go a little faster and get into the next gear. No knocks and bangs from the suspension as we go over the bumps. Changes back down the gear smoothly. So the engine noise is nice and restrained. So a big hole there, just soak the bump up nicely. Rides lovely, obviously you're in this nice high seated position. We're up into third or fourth gear now. It's just a lovely, smooth, comfortable drive. There's no worrying noises at all. brake brakes nice and straight in a straight line no squealing or uh, grinding picks up again straight away no problem at all Steering is nicely assisted with the power steering, doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels actually quite a lot smaller when you're driving than it looks from the outside. It doesn't fit. So as I said, there's no jerkiness at all in the gearbox, it changes gears smoothly. Lots of low down torque. We can uh, just smoothly cruise up this hill, put our foot down drops it down the gear and off we go. Plenty of power, doesn't feel underpowered at all. So as I said, just a lovely, smooth, comfortable drive. Nice and light steering brakes well, changes smoothly, everything you'd want it to be. So overall we've got a car with a fantastic service history, that Nissan main dealership history all the way through, in cracking condition, probably as good as one of this age you're going to find, fantastic spec with a long advisory free MOT. It will be coming out with a six month national warranty that can be used at any VAT registered garage. And to top it all off, at 8995, we are over 480 pounds lower than Auto Trader's recommended retail price. So you're getting it at top value for money also. Please do take the time to read our reviews. You'll find them on our Facebook page and on Google. We do pride ourselves on customer service. And as always, Many thanks for watching the video. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks a lot. Bye.